Businesses and residents along the islands obviously are not the only ones who lost money. More than 50,000 vacationers were forced to leave the island. Many we spoke to expressed their concerns about getting refunds on their trips. WNCT's Tamara Scott joins us now to explain why having vacation insurance in a situation like this could make up for those expenses. Tamara. Angela, we have already heard from a few insurance carriers on how they're changing their policies to cover the blackout in the Outer Banks. And we'll get to that a little later in the show. But for some of you planning for future trips, don't let the situation scare you from making sure your trip is covered by insurance. Arthur King and his wife say they are not risk takers. The stamps on their passports would tell a different story. I promised her a few years ago that each year of our anniversary, we would celebrate it in another country. We've been fortunate enough to do that in 21 countries. Venice, Paris, Florence, and Prague are just a few under their belt. The Venice did not like it. The water was atrocious. But King says traveling is not the risk. The risk is traveling without insurance. So it's always better to be prepared than unprepared. AAA travel consultant Pat Reynolds says she recommends adding the coverage for any and all of your travel plans. Spend a lot of money on a trip. Mm -hmm. You have to cancel at the last minute. All that money's gone if you don't have insurance. So how does it work? If you have to cancel at the last minute, generally speaking, the penalties are 100%. Mm -hmm. So you've got non-refundable airline tickets mm -hmm. and your stay at, at a nice resort or something like that. So that's a lot of money to lose as opposed to paying $119 a person to make sure you get those funds back. When can you use it? Illness, either yourself or your travel partner or your immediate family member mm -hmm. or death. Mm -hmm. um, um, if your home becomes uninhabitable, um, if you get called for jury duty, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. King says he knows life is uncertain, so while he is living it to the best of his ability, he'll do it risk-free. It's better to pay that extra for anything that might occur than to uh, be worried about something and it does occur and you're not prepared. Insurance policies do cost extra money and range in prices. Reynolds says every insurance policy is different, so be sure to read that fine print on what type of situations the policy covers. Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. All right, thank you, Tamara.